Yo, what's good with you guys, man? I hope you guys are all doing good today, man. And today, today we're going to be talking about assumptions and how we have to assume good in all areas of our life, in all situations. Now, we know certain situations, certain things could happen, right? Whether it be good or bad. And on one hand, it could be good. And on one hand, it could be bad, you know? But you have to know the consequences of what you're doing. What could be good and what could go bad. What you have to do in a sense is know the bad, but assume for the good. You know what I'm saying? Be prepared for the worst, but hope for the best. You know what I'm saying? That's what it has to be. It has to be that way because if you're preparing for the worst and you're hoping for the worst, you're bound to get the worst. It just goes like that. Because they say, you are what you think. And so in any situation in life, you want to think the good about it, but know the bad and be prepared for it because that's all you can do in a sense, right? And do your research on your situation that you're in and know, okay, is this, could this be this? Oh, this is not going to happen. This be this. Like, do your research on what you're in and know the consequences that could go good from it and that can go bad. But at the end of the day, assume good. Assume good every day. Assume good all the time. Because if you don't assume good, who will? Right? There ain't no one thinking for you 24-7 like you are. You know, you have people in your life who feel like, oh, I want to think good for them. I want to think good for them, which is cool. If you ain't thinking good for you, <laughs> buddy, then what you doing, man? You got to think good. You got to assume the best. To prepare for the worst, but assume the best. That's the only way. Assumption will get you along far away. Even with people, right? You're around people, and say you have a bad relationship with certain people, maybe your coworker or maybe even at home. If you start to assume that they actually are good people, and that it's actually, they're actually loving in a sense, and you start to act that way, then you're going to get that back. Because think about it. If someone's mean to you, what are you doing for them to be mean to you? What are y'all doing for y'all to bump heads, right? Is it you? Is it them? It could be a mixture of both, right? But if you assume the best and you act off that assumption, then things will change. They have to change. They have to change. Because in order for you to change, you have to change you. You can't change somebody else. So if someone's being mean to you, what do you do? You change yourself to be nice to them, right? Because maybe if they're mean to you, be mean back. But maybe if you're nice first, when they be mean to you, they will change, right? And that's all we have. We all we have is basically our own control of our own self. Because we cannot come out here and literally go off every reaction. Because we cannot control everybody. If we could control everybody how we want them to be controlled our way, then everyone would be like how we want them to be and that would be dull right but people act in a certain way towards you or acting weird towards you you have to allow that but it's how you accept it how are you going to accept it are you going to accept it in a way where you're like man nah i'm gonna crash out or i'm gonna do something to them, or you're gonna be like oh whatever you just brush it off and you don't matter and you live to another day to to do what you want to really do in life and live the life you truly want to live that's all it is and once you get to that point in your life to where you're like, man, I'm done dealing with people and being emotional back to people when people do certain things to me. Then your life gets to get better because now you're not controlled by people. Because when they get a reaction to you, you're controlled by them. You see? And so that's what all goes all by assuming. If they say something, just assume the best out of the situation, all is going to be all good. And act that way, and it should go good. And eventually they will either act good towards you or leave you alone in a sense because you cannot control them you can't you can't only control yourself so the way you act towards something and and if you just want to blow up that's on you and it's going to make you feel bad it's going to make you be in a negative state because now you're you're falling to their trap because some people will literally will just get you to act a certain way and to be a certain way just so they can get a reaction out of you and make you in a low vibration like they are. It just suck your energy away and make you feel like a bad person. Because that's what some people are here to do. 
which is crazy, right? But it's a thing. So you have to be careful. You have to be mindful how you react when certain people say certain stuff because people just want a reaction out of you most of the time. And it's not nothing really serious, right? Only thing you can control, like I say, is you. You can control you. So how you control you is up to you. And once you stop entertaining what other people want you to do, as in, you know, if they say something to you, it's like you can either blow up on them or just chill it out. Once you can decipher that and make that decision in a good manner, when the situation happens, now you develop how to get peace and all, all around in your life. Because now you know how to like literally just drop things that don't mean nothing. Because a lot of us possibly had that problem when we were little. Like if someone would do something, we're going, oh, we're going to do it right back. But does that really do anything for us? Does it? Does it? Or does assuming the best of the situation and acting towards that way and, 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 and assuming that whatever happens, it's going to go good and I don't have to react. And assuming good things out of the situation. It's going to make it better for you and it's going to make it a wool soft for you instead of having to worry about something that we haven't even known that is that um, hasn't even happened yet. It's like, oh, my coworkers are at work. I don't know if they're going to be cool today or, or, or my or my or my uh, cousin. He'd be tripping. I don't know if he's going to be cool today, man. We almost got into it last time. It's just like, OK, you haven't even seen your cousin yet. OK, you haven't seen your cousin. So you don't know. So you're assuming the worst. All you have to do is like, OK, we could get into it, but I'm assuming the best. and I'm going to act off this assumption that it's all love and I'm going to move with love and I'm assuming it's love. And then what you're going to get, you give love, they're going to have to give it back. It's the same thing. If you give it, they're going to have to give it back. It doesn't really matter. They're going to be more inclined to give it back than to be rude because you're giving love. You're showing love. You're being good. That's their truly evil person. Now you got to watch out for that, too. But majority of the time, nine times out of ten, you are going to get love back. You will get it back just because of how you act off your subsumption of good and you act in the good place of that assumption. So once you act in the good place of that assumption, then you acting as the assumption, which is good. And so the outcome of someone else, and y'all get into it with your cousin, is going to be none. It's going to be good because y'all are going to show love and it's going to be all love and y'all going to do what y'all do. So that's really what it is. Before you go into situations, you have to assume the best, know that, that this situation can happen, but move off the best, act as the best towards that person or that situation, and the, and the best will come out of the situation because you're acting as the assumption. You're acting as a solution you want to be. You're, you're doing it. See, if you assume the worst and act that way and you don't want it to go that way, and you're like, why did it go that way? Because you assume the worst and you act as the worst. So you act as the problem to the solution. You act as the problem to the problem. So now it creates a bigger problem in a sense, if you get what I'm coming from. So that's why you have to assume the good best, but act on your assumption towards it before the answer is even there so you can get the answer you want and not assume the worst and then act the worst. And then you're like, why did I get this answer when I'm thinking I want to be the, when, I, when I'm thinking I don't want this to happen? Well, you're assuming it's going to happen, but you don't want to think, you don't want it to happen. You think you don't want to happen, but you're assuming it to happen. And then you're acting as if it's going to happen. Now it's going to happen. Because now you're just a problem making the problem bigger. That's how it goes. It's, it's, it's simple but complicated in itself. Anyways, you guys, I appreciate you guys for watching me. This is Armosa, and I love you guys, and I'm rocking with y'all, man. I appreciate everything y'all do. Y'all do for me, man. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good one. Peace.